Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. On our various H1 videos, and we've actually covered this in a few other H1 videos as well, we get asked this question, will so-and-so GPU fit in the H1? So what I decided to do today is whip out a few of the new 30 series GPUs that we've got. There's only five here. That must be the whole world stock. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see which ones fit, which ones don't fit. There's a few exceptions that we're going to cover. So let's get right into it. All right, there's a couple caveats with actually doing it in the H1. The first thing is we don't have a 3070 or 3080s founders edition, so it's impossible for us to test that. Although you can go on NZXT's website and get the measurements from of the founders cards and see if it fits that way, yes. Uh, there are always a few different bits of tolerances with that, so sometimes they will and won't, even though they will appear that they will and won't. Anyway, uh, the reason why we're doing it in the H1 again is because we've got another build coming up with this case, and so before we actually started building with it, I decided that I would attack this because we've been asked this so many times. So yeah, that's basically it. So the lineup of the cards that we've got is we've got the ROG Strix RTX 3090, we've got the ASUS Dual 3070, we've got the MSI Gaming X Trio 3080, we've got the Gigabyte Eagle, the non-OC 3070, and the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Gaming OC. So yeah, that's five cards in total that we figured would have the highest possibility of fitting. And yeah, I mean, it's possible, it might not be, but we're gonna find out. And there's also one last thing I wanted to add. I didn't include the 3090 Founders Edition because it's a true three slot card and there's only enough space for a, a two slot card on the PCIe bracket on this case. So I didn't wanna uh, try and get that to work because it's probably not gonna work. So with all that said, Let's jump into it and see which ones fit. We're gonna start smallest to biggest. I was gonna go biggest to smallest, but I feel like it's uh, anticlimactic if we go biggest to smallest. So let's go smallest to biggest and see which ones should fit and let, let's, let's do a thing. First off, let's remove the panels as usual. Okay, off she goes. We haven't even used this one yet. It's brand new, brand new-ish. Uh, I'll talk about some of the issues with this case in a video when we actually build with it. But for now, we're just gonna focus on getting these GPUs to fit. Let's get these panels out of the way. Pull these screws out to make life easier. Alrighty. And we're gonna start off with I, the thinnest GPU of the lineup. It's actually a bit thinner than a two slot, which is actually crazy. It's like, it's like a 1.8 slot. It's the Gigabyte RTX 3070 Eagle. Also, just be aware though, actually, I, I meant to mention this in the intro. If you are using these 30 series GPUs, one thing you'll need to modify to this case, other than like, like actually making them fit, is the power supply. It's only a 650 watt from factory, or even a 600 watt, I think it's a 650 from factory, and 750 is required for most of these GPUs. So anyway, Let's uh, go ahead and see if the Eagle fits. And I'm, I'm thinking it will because I've got a GPU that's basically this size in my daily driver H1 as it is. So, easy peasy, that one fits. And there won't be any problems with getting the side panel to fit. So does the 3070 Eagle from Gigabyte fit? Easily, look at the distance between the face of the fans and where the side panel would fit. It's, uh, yeah, there's, there's more than enough space for this to fit. So this one is a definite fit and win. And remember, as I mentioned previously, even if you do want to use these GPUs, I would recommend upgrading the power supply that comes with this case, if this was going to be something that you wanted to do. The reason why I'm not putting the side panel on right now to show you is because it definitely fits without any issues whatsoever. So there's no point sliding the top panel back on. This could get a little bit more interesting later on in the video. Alrighty, next up is the 3070 Jewel. The reason why I chose this card is because we've got it and it's wider than most of the other cards that you might be looking to install on this. So let's see if this one fits. This one is already looking like it's gonna fit without any problems as well. 
and sweet. Yeah, that fits easily. If we take a bit of a closer look again, it doesn't look like we need to test with the side panel. Let's just do it anyway, just in case we uh, get some clearance issues. Uh, the fans are indented, so even if it did hit the shroud, it should be okay. But let's actually test this because now I'm a bit curious. And this is looking like it's gonna fit, no problems. I like to actually slide the panel on and touch the fans and see if they spin once the panel's half slid down. And yeah, no, no problems at all. The jewel fits in no problem whatsoever. But again, remember, I'm gonna keep saying this, you will need to operate your power supply to use this. So this one is again, another great success. Very nice. Next up is the RTX 3070 Gaming OC. Uh, the reason why I've actually picked this card is because it is about two and a bit slots, about two and a half slots. Uh, it should fit as well, but yeah, only one way to find out. Let's get her in there and see what happens. So I, I suspect this one's gonna be fine as well. Perfect, plenty of clearance. And we'll just slide that panel down to reassure you guys that this is gonna work. Everybody loves a panel test. All right. Yep, that appears to be fine. Yep, we're good. Beautiful, there you go. 3070 Gaming OC, great success, very nice. All right, let's move on. Gaming X Trio is one I'm very skeptical of. of I mean, there's a couple reasons. The first reason is it's generally just a big card. And the second reason is it's got three eight pin PCIe power connectors. So you'll definitely need to upgrade your power supply. There's only a couple of power supplies that are SFX that would, this would work with. But anyway, uh, for the sake of science, let's see if it's gonna fit or not. All right, you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> the answer is already no. It's, it's, it's far too tall. So, uh, yeah, this one's a bust. Definitely a bust. It won't even go into the case. Uh, yeah, that, that is a bust. It's actually too high for the case as well. So no, no dice whatsoever. I'm sorry guys, that's rather unfortunate. Which leads us into the last GPU, which is, it's basically telling me if that MSI one doesn't fit, then this one's not gonna fit either. But you know, science and all that stuff, let's see. That would be a, also a definite. Oh, it's not over yet. Yeah, that's a definite note, ladies and gents. Uh, I mean, there are a few things we could do here. The height of it looks like it would just about fit inside of the chassis, but it is. You know what? I think this just got a bit interesting. Something annoying just happened. I had a revelation that I thought would probably work. So I actually, off camera, I got to removing the top panel because if I could take the top panel off, I could probably get this 3090 to fit. The problem I just had with this case is, <sighs> so frustrating. I got every single screw out to do it, except the corner that I needed to come out the most which was this corner. The heads of these screws are completely rooted and I'll do a, I'll do a shot where you can see them. They're, they're, I'd use a normal screwdriver and they completely just destroyed themselves. So I don't know what's going on with this. And I've, I've got a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what to call it. What can, I, what can I call it, Claire? The other thing that we had to do with this case a few weeks ago when we got it. I don't know what the word is, but here's something that I wanted to show you guys as well. That's something that we encountered with this case when we first got it, right? All right, the, co the corner screw heads on this side, completely destroyed and completely destroyed here. I mean, the other ones came out no problem, right? This case is an RMA case, right? It came as an RMA, we knew it came as an RMA, but I think there's a few quality control issues with this particular one, right? And I'm, I'm only sharing this with you because I wanna know if there's any other H1 users who have had this problem. This is the first time I've seen it. So like I mentioned, these ones come out really, really easily, right? Super easy, regular size Phillips head, no problem, they go back in, they come back out. This one was rooted from when we got it from as an RMA, right? 
and which was fine. I didn't realize that this is also gonna be destroyed. I did, however, know that when this got shipped to us, that these two screws were already pre-rooted. I'm using this because it's a very Australian term and I feel like I'm being very Australian today. Uh, rooted means uh, another word in Australia for the F word. Um, <laughs> I had to drill these screws out and uh, to get these out. I'll just show you quickly. I don't know why I'm going down this rabbit hole right now, but I had to drill these out a few weeks ago when we first got these case so we could actually prep it for the project. And I, and, and I knew that these were wrecked, but uh, yeah, I wasn't aware that there was two more screws on this case that were ruined. And this actually stopped us from getting the GPU to see if it could fit in. And it's kind of annoying. So maybe uh, I will drill these out and replace the screws. But right now I'm not gonna do that, right? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna accept the feet and answer the question, will the 30 series Strix cards fit? The answer is maybe, I don't know. I do have another H1, but it's a production system. So unfortunately, I can't give you a definitive answer on this. However, for the rest of the cards, we do have a definitive answer. And I do have some definitive answers for some other cards. Like I know people are gonna ask about the Aorus Extreme and people ask about that in the Cooler Master NR200 as well. I don't think they're gonna fit in the NR200. Could be wrong, that's a, a stupidly massive four slot card. It's definitely not gonna fit in this. This, the, the card, even if I could get it to fit height wise, it'd probably stick out to about here. So yeah, that's basically the gist of this video. All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made sense. The reason why I did this is again, because we get asked lots of questions about what's gonna fit in this case. And because we do have an upcoming build with this, I wanted to see what would fit in this case. And obviously the ROG Strix is a little bit of a disappointment given that these two screws are basically rooted and there's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, I could drill them out, but I didn't want to get into that today. I didn't want to make a mess. I just wanted to see if it would fit straight off the bat. So the answer on the ROG Strix one on the 30 series, so that, so the, the cooler for the 30, 80, 90 and 70 are about the same so that would probably give you the answer for that now this video is a bit of a reference for other cards as well and like you saw in the video the 3080 gaming x trio does not fit the 3070 gaming oc does fit very easily so use this as a size reference for other cards as well so yeah you can google the measurements for most of the cards to see if they're going to fit so this will give you a pretty good indication uh the eagle fit no problem and the 3070 Jewel from Asus also fit no problems too. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys today. And remember, if you are looking at putting a 30 series card in this case, you probably need to replace the power supply that's in here. I haven't tested it yet, so I can't give you any definitive answers. We just haven't got to that part of what we're doing with this case yet. But yes, we will have more content with the H1 because you guys like seeing it. So we, and we like building with it because it's really easy. And like, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of this all-in-one case that's got everything. And I don't know, I daily drive one, so I like it. I like it. I just don't like that ours is rooted. <laughs> well, technically it's screwed, but yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, make all the music. If you want to get early access to videos like this one, head on over to our float plane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek, and to be honest, this video is just kind of like one of those videos I just wanted to make today because I thought it was interesting to share with people and I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't pull the top of the case apart. Yeah, anyways, I hope you learned something. I hope you don't hate this video, but I, I just wanted to share something with you guys today. Thanks for watching.